Supersonic. <laughs> oh god, it's Sagumi and Gemma. No, they have to see this. Yuito. You shouldn't have gotten involved. Would you say the same? Is it with me, Luca? about time travel why is that i was just curious so i studied it still talking about time travel it can be said that precognition is a power that deals with time as long as that okay hold on for a second arashi so we're gonna start off with the bond episodes in this yes, one because like i said i need them for gameplay be. reasons i mean if i could control time i could be as lazy as i wanted Hopefully, hopefully it won't suck up too much time. Kyoka, there's something I've been wondering ever since I joined the OSF. What is it? You seem very different during battles. I could be wrong, but it's almost like you're not the same person. Oh, I guess you never had a chance to watch me fight when you were a cadet. It seems like I completely change personalities when there's some sort of competition. A lot of people are like that. Are you talking about Kyoka's battle mode? It always surprises the rookies to see her suddenly go into beast mode. I'm not that scary, am I? Not really. Not scary. Just a little surprising. Nah, cause like, Wanna know something if I recall correctly in the she last episode, like the you fell on your I ass. I know because Kyoka and I graduated the same year. Really? Yeah. You were famous among our class for being hard to approach. You started to change when you joined the OSF, getting friendlier every year. And now look how kind you've become. You only see the old traces of you during battle. I guess people change. Oh, look at the time. I've got an important nap to attend to. Later. That's so strange. Do you have any or idea she why makes a you cameo in Kyoka's Bond episode. episode? Why I changed? I'm not sure. Maybe because the old me only saw herself. But after making so many friends in the OSF, I formed more connections with the people around me. Then I started wanting to cherish each of my relationships. That could be why I started looking after everyone. The old you is someone I'd gladly trust to have my back. But I'm happy I met this version. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. I hope I'll be able to stay this way. What's wrong? What? Uh oh, nothing. That was really interesting hearing old stories about you. Really? Just ask me if there's anything else you want to know. Oh! Do you want me to tell you about one of my favorite fortune-telling sites? And you had to go in the weird direction. No, that's okay. I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> you don't need to be so shy. We should go get our fortunes read together sometime. Why does it matter? I want to talk to Kyoka. But I just did. Gemma wants to give me something. Gemma! Gemma! Oh, it's from Naomi. God damn it. I thought he got me a gift. It's gonna be like, man, Gemma. You came. Sorry to call on you all of a sudden. It's alright, Gemma. Gemma's best boy, 100%, all the way. First, let me apologize to you. Naomi was turned into an other because I wasn't strong enough to stop it from happening. See now, if you could just stop bringing that up, we'd be 100% really cool. The pain I've caused you. I don't blame you for that. Anyway, what did my sister give you? This. It's her handwriting. Why do you have a handwritten letter from my sister? She never told me you two were close. I don't think we were. We didn't fight together for too long, and we didn't exchange many words with each other either. However, Naomi didn't let that stop her from reaching out to me. Just read the letter. These are... recipes. I have a habit of taking on too much work, so I'd often eat very poorly. 
I thought I hid how tired I was pretty well. But one day, Naomi called me over and handed me this. She said she well, put nice. together some simple and nutritious recipes so I could take better care of myself when I was busy. She could have just messaged me, but she went through the trouble of writing it out. Can you believe that? That's pretty nice. That's just like her. I was grateful, but it also made me think. How could I neglect my own health to the point where even a rookie was worried? I'm sure Naomi was busy herself, having just joined the OSF. She was always like that. She'd always prioritize others over herself. So did the What rest kind of them. others? <laughs> yes. They were easy, tasty, and nutritious. These recipes helped me take better care of myself. I didn't have much experience cooking, but she listed all the steps I needed very carefully. As I read her notes while I cooked, I began to notice how caring each word felt. My sister was the best. <laughs> yeah, she was. But why are you giving she this just to dip me if it's helped in you? combat, though. It's something she made for you. Handwritten letters are quite precious in this day and age. I thought it would be better if her sister had it. I memorized the recipes already. Besides, nobody has more heard about Naomi than you. The person who needs it the most should have it. All right. You know what? Hold on to it, then. It's probably about time for me to get my eyes checked again. What do you mean? Are you saying you couldn't wait to get rid of my sister's letter? No. I didn't mean it like that. It's just that I'm reminded of what happened to Naomi every time I look at it. I've been with the OSF for a long time. I thought I was used to losing friends. But I still can't accept what happened to her. Whenever I remember, it makes me painfully aware of my own powerlessness. I feel like someone's squeezing my heart. <sighs> if only I'd looked after the platoon better. There's a chance I could have prevented what happened to her. I'm sorry for unloading on you like this. I know that nobody is more hurt about her than you are. It's fine. It's not like anything you tell me will make it worse. I see. But as long as you continue fighting, you'll eventually encounter something you won't be able to carry on your own. As someone who's been in the OSF for many years, maybe I can help. Just reach out whenever you need me. Gemma I don't think is my like man. That will happen, but I will on the off chance it does. Well, if we're done here, I'm going back. All right, you didn't right. have to. You didn't have to be so it harsh. Like he really blamed himself for Naomi. I hate to see him waste my sister's kind gesture. But. But, but, Gemma is best boy, man. Why'd you have to be so fucking rude to him? You're just like, alright, I'm gonna leave now. Like, like, bruh, this man just poured his heart out to you and you're just like, yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Kasane, are you getting enough rest? Don't worry about me. I know how to take care of myself. Okay, but you're looking unusually disheveled today. I just thought you were so tired with everything that happened that you didn't even notice. Disheveled? Like your hair clip. It's kind of dirty. Huh? You're right. I need a clean cloth and detergent. Should be in the kitchen. Hey, you don't need to be so frantic. At least you're not lacking energy. Okay, there. It's all clean now. Hmm. Or she's definitely best girl and Gemma's Nothing. best boy. One hundred. I was just thinking about how carefully you're handling it. It was pretty unusual to see you lose your cool over a hair clip. This isn't just any hair clip. Naomi made it. We both have one. Oh yeah, she did wear something like that. She made them when I was younger to show that we were sisters. I can't believe I left it that dirty without noticing. Hmm. Are sentimental items really that important? Of course they are. Even though I'm sure it's just a hair clip to you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I just thought it was a little curious, that's all. I don't have any sentimental item with my brother Fabuki. Nothing? You must at least have a picture. No, not even a digital image saved. It just takes up room and is a pain to maintain. Even a digital copy ends up being a waste of storage space. I'm just not the sentimental type. That's all. Is that what a relationship between a sister and brother is like? It feels really distant. 
Everyone's different. Your relationship seems strange to me. Really? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break. You should learn from me and make it a point to rest well. Learn from you? <laughs> I'll have to think that one over. <laughs> What's there to think about? Come and ask me any time, I'd be happy to teach you. I guess there's a part of me that assumed all siblings were close like me and Naomi. There does seem to be something off about Arashi and Major General Fubuki's relationship. Yo, did I level up my shit with them yet? Wait, can I check? Did I get more levels? No. I got that though. Um. Fuck, I think she didn't want to talk. What's up, bro? You hiding? Oh shit, no. She doesn't want to say a fucking word to me. Oh, damn. I think we're done already. Let's just check the messages. Gamma sent me a message. Oh, yeah. Gamma's thing is that he's kind of depressed. It's kind of sad. Well, I think we're done with the Bond episodes already. Fucking 10 minutes or less? Sounds good to me. Now we can get into some more meat and potatoes. Fuck, I'm really hungry, man. I could use some meat and potatoes. So tired. I want to see my sister. That's Captain Seto's pen. What's it doing here? Why is it clean Naomi. now? Captain Seto. Everyone is leaving me. This feeling. I felt it before, a long time ago. It feels suffocating. Am I forgetting something important? Kasane, can you wake up? Uh, yes. Keeps standing over me like that and I just might. It seems Suo has declared a state of emergency. Let's go check it out. Karin may be on the move. I'm worried about Haruka, and we still haven't found Luka. We might figure some things out if we go to Suo. Shiden, are you fine with this? You don't need to worry about me. I suppose so. You were trying to join Karin's side before. <laughs> we pretended not to notice. So, <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah, it was kind of obvious. I have no idea. I trusted Major General Karin, but he attacked me at Kunad. Maybe he thought you betrayed him because you were with us. I need to give Karin a piece of my mind as well. I'm coming with you to Suo. All Smart right. decision. Let's head to Suo then, everyone. Yeah, we get three friends. What the hell am I going to do with a pen? It's too quiet. Maybe the rebel OSF and the Seiron garrison aren't here yet. I'd ask Haruka, but Sainet is down and I can't make contact. Be careful. It looks like someone shut down the Suo defense system. Uh -oh. There are others invading Suo. On top of that, the OSF are fighting amongst themselves and I can't get into the operator's room. I'll do my best to find out what's going on, so hide somewhere until then. Kyoka, Kasane. Did you just get a telepathic message? You both zoned out one after the other just now. Yes, from Haruka. It looks like someone has shut down the Suo defense system. There's infighting in the OSF, and she can't get into the operator's room. I just got a telepathic message from Haruka, too. So did I. She's having a hard time. OSF infighting. So Karin's rebels are already in the city. Haruka told us to hide. It looks like we can't do that, though. Yep. Let's, uh, let's, uh, beat the crap out of some stuff. Or have it beat the crap out of me, one of the two. Alright, let's start with this. And this. Nice. 
nice. Nice. Hit him with that brain crush. Get I think I got hit by one of those, but... I'm borrowing this. Oh shit, shit. Oh, I almost fucked up there. There we go. <laughs> Dude, I love the double SAS shit. It's so useful. You could just sit here and like mix and match your abilities and shit. It's so fucking fun. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Hit you with the vending machine. Nice, efficient. There might be more. Be careful. Kagero. Kagero is pretty cool too. What is it? Did you see Kagero? Yes. I saw him turn invisible and run to the OSF headquarters. Did he? We were fighting others, so there's no way he could have missed us. He might have been running from us. Why would Kagero run from us? I don't know. Maybe he's doing something shady. Hmm. The OSF are fighting each other. Kagero might know something. Dude. I don't know if we can track him, but let's head to the OSF headquarters. You cannot find this music on the soundtrack, man. With others in the city. I really wish you could. It's so fire. We are a hideout or a shelter. Civilians use the shelters, so we can't go there. You're right. We can take out others along Dude, the way. Dude, listen how that fire that is. is. A little. Maybe you can find this on the soundtrack. I don't think you can though. Absolutely fucking disgraced. Oops. Let's try that again. Easy. Next. Can you handle it? Use this one. I need your help. I don't think are these the fast guys? I don't think so. One of these. It's done. No, don't be spitting fire at me, please. Dude, the fucking combat in this game is so much fun. Let's hit him with one of these. And one of these. <laughs> well, that's awkward. Ooh, this could get kind of rough. But my attacks are faster now. Owie. It fucking hurt. Pick up one of these. Throw it at him. Go ahead and do that hyper velocity. Oh shit. That could have been way worse. Ah, shit. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, fuck. I'm borrowing this. So the one of these, one of these. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. I fucked up. I'm still targeting this guy, so I gotta kill him. Dude, the duplication gets super cool later on, too. Like, well, you can see it in my, uh, in my intro clip, but you get two versions of yourself that can throw shit. Oh, my God. Oh, 
boss. You owe me. Probably shouldn't have wasted the hyper velocity just now. I just hit him with two fucking armored vehicles. And he's still up there flying around. What a douchebag. Oh, that doesn't feel good. I'm not done yet. Go down, bro. There you go. Yeah. Shit. Oh, that guardian vision. See, that's why you do the bond episodes. I just was saved from a solid hit by uh, Kyoka. Like, dude, that would have maybe killed me if I got hit by that shit. Good luck. Can you handle it? You owe me. You like that shit, you bastard. Enemy is done. Sweet. I'm using it. Oops, I didn't mean to use that. Woohoo. Alright. What? The city's vision all went out at once. The city computer Arahabaki shut down. It controls the city functions. So if you shut it down, everything goes down. It's so boring without the computer generated signs. Yeah, so it almost looks like duds normal. Say. Duds? What do you mean? People without powers. They don't have powers, so they're duds. It's discriminatory. You're right, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have used that term. The city functions were made to be used by civilians, people with powers. It's not set up for those without powers. Most people do have some kind of power. Arahabaki wouldn't shut down by itself. Karin plotted a rebellion with Seiron. It would be in their way. We're almost to a shelter. You must be kidding me. Are they conducting that experiment in the middle of the city? There's he no knows. Way. He knows. And why are there others in the city? Isn't that why the city functions are frozen? Stop right there. Who are you? I'll kick your ass what if you get in my way. I'm not here for you. Hey, Kasane. What experiment? The one to turn people into others? <sighs> it is, isn't it? It's just like future Yuito said. Get away from the counselor! Are you part of the rebellion too? What do you mean by that? You better lay your hands off you of me or I will stab you. On that road over there. Only rebels would be attacking counselors. Wait, were you the only ones attacked? No, Chairman Sumeragi was attacked as well. We all ran. about the metamorphosis experiments. Hey, wait! If Chairman Sumeragi is up ahead, I may be able to ask him about metamorphosis. And if he doesn't die here, maybe we can avoid that ruinous future. I don't know. I don't think you should get involved because... Oh my god, that's a lot of dudes. Yo, where'd all my boys go? <laughs> They've all got buzz saws now. That's a lot of dudes. I uh don't like this actually. Look at the car. It's done. Ow, fuck you. They got guns and buzz saws. Wait a minute, if they're using guns and buzz saws, would that imply that they are duds? Are you guys duds? I 
if I can just hit like all of them at the same time, I think they stop attacking. Yeah, it seems like every time I hit them, they stop attacking, so. Weak. Weak sauce. Weak sauce. It's a good thing they don't really do that much damage. Oh, there's still a guy left. I thought I was done. <laughs> That it? Cool, I want this. I need to find this song in the soundtrack, dude. This is fucking sweet. Chairman Sumeragi? Yes. The OSF. That's... Togetsu. This wound... It's too late. Wait, don't die! Can new Himuka turn people into others? I... Can't... Tell you. It's because it's true. I'm serious! Answer me! It's... Too late for me anyway. Kasane? Oh god, it's Sagumi and Gemma. No, they have to see this. Yuito. You shouldn't have gotten involved. Dad. Shouldn't have gotten involved. I told you. I warned you. Kasane, are you okay? Dad! Out of the way! Oh yeah, I still have to kill him. What are you doing? In the end, they'll still think I killed him. But that future wasn't supposed to happen if I wasn't here. I'm here, so that future won't happen. Yuito, you must die. What? What are you saying? I made a promise to you. Arm yourself! And great, I have to fight Yuito. You promised me that you'd kill me? What are you talking about? I'm not going to understand. Die! Why do I always have to fight Yuito without any SAS? It's fucking lame, bro. Calm down, Kasane. Think this through. What? We had this conversation. Hey, answer me. We already had this conversation, yo. Kasane, we can do whatever you want later. I'm just worried about my father right now. Yeah, you got bigger problems right now. Oh shit. I'll be pursued for the assassination of the chairman. If I want to go now, I might not get another chance. Here it comes. Oh shit. Oh my god. I almost fucked up. There's no uh, brain crush on him either, so I assume this isn't going to last too long. I'm not done yet. Try me, bitch. I know how to avoid your stupid shit. I may have been able to win against you in the training exercise if I just did that jumping thing before. Be easy. I'm not getting anywhere like this. If I use the brain field, then I could definitely get Yuito. Oh boy, brain field. Yes, I should be able to do it. I have to now. I want to protect the world to save my sister. I'll do whatever I need to do that. Brain field. I will kill him. Hell yeah. Ah! 
such a cool cutscene. Let's rock. Let's rock, baby. Sure is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So the the thing about the brain field is that you can only do it for a certain amount of time because you'll die if you do it for too long. Brainfield's kind of nuts. Oh shit! He actually killed me. I can't die yet. Fuck my life. I to die, die. Yeah. Oh what? Die, die, die. Oh shit! That's super cool. No, stop being stunned. Now's not the time. Let's try that again. Oh, you know, the usual. Burden on the user is very high. Press that before it kills you. All right. I feel sick. It's like I'm losing myself. This is a brain field. Kasane. I'm sorry, Yuito. I understand if you hate me. You're still breathing. I'll finish it now. Wait, what are you doing? Dude, and Yuito's playthrough. Why are you trying to kill he's me? He's so confused, man. Kasane, did you stab my father? <laughs> Wait, what's this? citizens of New Himuka, you blind fools who denied the truth before your own eyes. I am Karin Travers of the OSF. I reject the control of the New Himuka government as one of the Awoken. My allies and I have decided to cooperate with Seiron, who share our will. Stay here and you'll be caught. Get back to Shiden if you want to escape. It's almost like real life. New Himuka is a regime that eliminates those that threaten them by driving them insane. They only raise submissive livestock they can control. There is no justice. No peace for the wicked. Hey, Kasane's getting away. Or no rest for the wicked. Wait! Wait! citizens of New Himuka. Seiron protects the free will of the people and offers an environment for them to live as human beings. I promise 
us to uphold that standard. There are no requirements to join us. No requirements? I stood at the front lines of Ceylon and rebelled against a society that would control humans and only allow some of them rights. We truly do live in a society. Now I will destroy the new Himuka regime with Ceylon as my homeland. What begins now is an escape from oppressive control. A revolution. To those of you who are awake, those who wish to awaken, come join my cause in Ceyron. Help me destroy the new Himuka regime and put an end to their tyranny forever. Yeah, let's do it. Let's end some tyranny. Sounds like a plan. Kagero, why did you stab Chairman Sumeragi? What? How about you tell me why you tried to kill Yuito? Because I was asked to. Okay, then, so was I. My employer ordered me to assassinate the chairman to stop New Himuka's rampage. I planned on framing someone for the assassination, but unfortunately for you, you took my bait. I'm sorry, but I have no plans to confess. Oof. Kagero. You're from Togetsu, and you're a believer in the Togetsu faith. Did Togetsu order you? I cut my ties with Togetsu. Besides, there's only one group who'd want the chairman dead at this point. So you were ordered by Seiron. That's enough for now. Yuito will catch up to us if we keep talking here. We'll retreat to Vision City for now. We can talk then, alright? Yes. Kagero. Don't try to run by turning invisible. I'm holding on to you. <laughs> I'm no match for you, Major Kyoka. I'll be a good boy. Be a good boy, Kagero. Sorry, Kasane, for making you the fall guy. I didn't do it on purpose. For real. <laughs> Forget that. Why did you assassinate Chairman Sumeragi? I can't believe someone from Togetsu would trust Seiron. Don't ask me, I just did what I was told. Maybe it's because my power is suited for assassination. Ooh, word, word. There's an item up there. I'm gonna go get it. I never thought we'd be rebels. But, but, but the item! I finally found you. Karin. Ah, Shiden. I see you're still stuck to Kasane like flies to dung. Ooh. This is the rebellion you were talking about? Yes. New Himuka wasn't satisfied with their controlled society and started that repugnant research. The research to turn people into others. In their zeal to create more powerful psionics, they began experimenting with the metamorphosis of living things. I will crush the new Himuka government for creating metamorphosis. Half of the OSF have pledged themselves to me. You should come to Seiron as well. Well, that works for me. Just who are you, Kagero? What do you mean, Major General? I guess we both have ulterior motives. I don't mind as long as you don't get in my way. Just like old times. <gasps> You two have known each other that long? I forgot about well, that, actually. You know, uh, so what are you all going to do? I I planned to join Seiron from the beginning. Karn, to be honest, you really pissed me off, Major General. But I can't get behind what New Himuka is doing. I'll go too. You know how I am. What are you going to do, Kasane? It was New Himuka that turned Naomi into another. It was. Naomi's in Seiron, right? You'll help her, won't you? I will do all I can. I don't trust him. Then I'm going to Seiron too. I don't trust him. Major General Yomo's a little sus. I don't trust him. We'll never be able to go back to Suo. Oh well, I guess it is what it is. You're the one who can never go back. You're the one who killed Chairman Sumeragi. Yeah, yeah, I'm the culprit. And Sheedan is an egghead from Seiron. What's that supposed to mean? Is there something wrong with being smart? 
I wouldn't go that far. So, Arashi, you're just coming along to keep an eye on Major General Karin, right? You're worried he'll be a problem for Major General Fabuki. I'm not that attached to my brother. Sure, whatever you say. So, why are you going to say on Major Kyoka? Don't tell me you're one of Karin's fans. Hmm? Would it be strange if I was a fan of Major General Karin? Wow, you strike me as more of a Major General Fubuki fan. <laughs> oh, stop, Kagero. Do you think I'm the kind of person who would change her mind based on whether or not a person was her type? Yes. When you're in OSF command like me, you see the suspicious things the government does, even if you don't want to. But researching human metamorphosis? I can't let that go. Yeah, that's the rub. It's why half the OSF joined up with him. I'm sure none of them trust the government, and Major General's popularity certainly helps. Yes. Anyways, the OSF will be reformed one way or another. Once we get to Ceyron, we may be reassigned as well. Oh, right. So what's going to happen to this hideout? This unit belongs to the Randall family, right? We should be able to continue using it. <laughs> Who's gonna stop the us? The family has lots of units they don't use. Who's gonna stop us? I never told them we were using this in the first place. What if somebody just comes oh, in? so we've been using it without permission? Well, we'll keep using it if we can. It's nice to have a place to rest. Once I get to Seiron, I can see my sister. Wait for me, Naomi. And that one's going to have to wait until next time. I think that was a decent episode. A little bit uh, oversaturated by story bits, but it wasn't so bad. Uh, okay, yeah, I already know. Oh, crap. Do we have more Bond episodes to... Oh, shit. More Bond episodes to do uh, in the next one. You know what? I always thought you were suited for wet work. You know what? I never thought you'd actually use it that Let's way. Let's just get Kagros out of the way well, real quick. Save us a little bit of headache Shoot on the next fits. one. You killed Yuito's All right, father. Sheedon, I don't want to listen to you right now. Because I'm a... <laughs> he just called himself a bastard. Yo, Kasane, coming all the way to see me? Do you have a crush on me or something? No, I just came to check on you. Looks like you're fine. Goodbye. <laughs> Whoa, I see you still keep things cool. I mean, you're already here. Why don't we go on a date? Oh. No, thanks. Good. Wait, hold on. What else do you want? He's so smooth, though. Sorry, sorry. I shouldn't have used the D word. What? How about we take this opportunity to deepen our friendship? That's still a D word. I somehow doubt your motives. You've been on edge lately. After everything that happened with Naomi, I'm just concerned for you as the team's resident senior. Why don't we let off a little steam? A change of pace over some tea with your trusty mentor. He may have an ulterior motive. That being said, it might actually be good to talk with him. We're allies after all. So I think it's best that I should, at the very least, try to understand what kind of person he is. Okay, we can talk a little. Oh, so you're finally on board. Great, now let's go out on the town. You mean the and one place, the one place that exists in the town? Like... And besides, why would we go there? We'd probably just be fucking tracked there because so we're wanted. Do we need to talk about? Like, bro. Let's see. I guess uh, not very incognito, are we? Although we pretty much already know what we've both been up to. Today's goal is to get you to blow off a little steam. So let's just talk about whatever you want to talk about. But I don't feel like I need to blow off steam. Really? Then maybe I'll just ask some questions. Weren't you and Naomi really close? That was a dumb question. We're sisters. Of course we were. But you seem to be even closer than real sisters. Was there something that happened that helped you become so close? Well, Naomi was always there protecting me because I didn't really have a place in the Randall household. My parents didn't think very fondly of me, and she was the only one who actually treated me with kindness. Oh, I get it. So you feel like you owe her for helping you through your childhood? Sounds like a great sister to me. Yes. I suppose you could say that I owe her my life. I wanted to ask him about himself. We've been talking about me the whole time. You must really love Naomi. What? Yes. 
She's the most important person in the world to me. So, let me ask you this. If you could turn back time oh. to when Naomi was well, do you think you'd want to? That's a good question. Turn back time? Then you could go back to the way things were. Like it's a little sus. Anymore. He knows. Of course I want to be together with my he sister knows. Again, But I can't. Why? Because taking away my sister's suffering like it never happened would be denying her entire life. I see. Why did you ask me that? It's just kind of a logical I way to a life look at it. Regret, so I'm always thinking about how to face the past. Although you do have a good point. I guess you just need to accept what's happened. That's enough about me. I'd like to hear about your past mistakes. <laughs> Whoa, that's not really something I can just share with you or anyone so easily. Gotta maintain some air of mystery about me. Oh, really? Then I won't push you. I mean, we don't want to close the distance between us too quickly. Let's take this slow. Okay. We ended up barely even talking about him. I did notice he dropped that cheerful facade he always has on for a moment. I think he might be hiding something deeper behind that usual carefree attitude of his. Oh, yeah, think so. Although I could be reading into it too much. No. That's a... Yeah, he, he's definitely hiding quite a bit. I mean, he did just stab the chairman and blame it on you, so... All right, that's going to do it for this one. So I hope you enjoyed the last couple episodes of Scarlet Nexus. And uh, damn it, why do I always freeze up at the end? I need to work on that. Fuck, it's been way too long, man. It's just music, man. It's too much of a vibe.